Hey everyone, George here, also known as the Disney Family Man 23. How's it going? What's going on, everybody? Uh, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Usually I talk about like the news of what's going on in the Disney community, uh, what's going on with the Disney parks, the uh, Disney Cruise Line, or what have you. But today, I, again, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I have a package that uh, I will be opening uh, for you. Um, you'll probably never guess what it is. It may surprise you. But uh, uh, several weeks ago, Disney uh, released that they will be having uh, a collaboration once again with McDonald's and releasing some uh, toys based off of not just uh, Disney characters, but based off of attractions at Walt Disney World. And I just thought that was awesome. At first, I didn't know if it was true or not until, you know, all the buzz on social media and it's, okay, it's actually true. So I actually ended up ordering all 10 right here. <laughs> um, but, you know, I know it's part of the fun, you know, where you go to uh, McDonald's, you know, get a Happy Meal, see which one you get. But I wanted to end up, you know, having the opportunity to just getting all 10 and just, you know, having them as part of my collection. So, with this video, it's going to be me un opening everything up and showing you each of the uh, the ten uh, Disney toys that McDonald's currently has going on right now. So, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to show them to you uh, in the order uh, by number of how they will be released. And hopefully this whole entire video is not me trying just to open up the big package, because that would be so sad. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just dumping them all out in front of me. Okay, so the first one here is uh, the number one, which is Goofy in the train. And this isn't just any train. This is actually based off of the new uh, Walt Disney World attraction that opened, which is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And this is the start of the, uh, the train. All the toys connect. And it makes one big train, and as they move, they animate. So if you could see, it once it moves, see, uh, Goofy's arm moves. Um, so this is the beginning. This is number one of the train where uh, Goofy is the uh, engineer. And this is the actual replica of the train uh, that's part of the attraction of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Because Goofy is also the engineer uh, on the attraction itself. So number two is this one right here. This is now Mickey, and he is in spaceship. Oh, I'm sorry, not spaceship. Uh, Mission Space. Mickey, and as you can see, um, the characters that they're portraying is based off of uh, the new uh, Mickey Mouse shorts, um, and also the new uh, shorts that just released yesterday as part of Mickey and Minnie's 92nd birthday, The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse. The first two uh, shorts have been released, so definitely go on Disney Plus and check them out, because it's, it's a really good show. So I assume that you connect them... Like that. Well, if it stays. Like that. And it would go better if I had them on like a, a platform type thing and then you can move them. So that's the first two. And then, let's see, number three. Those were the only two that I knew that went in. I know that those were the first two, so now I have to try to find out which one number three is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I found number four. But I don't need number four yet. Which one is number three? Ah, here's number three. Number three is Minnie Mouse in the Time Rover 
of uh, Dinosaur, which is actually in Disney's Animal Kingdom. And here's Minnie Mouse uh, in the Time Rover, and then you have the, the it looks like a raptor. It, you can't really tell that's behind her. <laughs> And then I guess as it moves, oh, the raptor goes. See if you can see. Yeah, you can see the raptor moves as the car moves. And then that one will go behind uh, mission space, so it connects like that. As I said, you, they don't really stay connected, like, um, completely. You'd have to have them on a, a hard surface and then pull them along. And there's something else that's really cool about these, um, and I'll explain what that is after I show you them all. Okay, number four is Pluto, and he is in the Jungle Cruise boat. Here's Pluto. And the, the boat actually lifts up, and you can see a, a hippo. <laughs> so as it moves... Uh, there it goes. Okay. That's kind of cool. And then that'll go behind the time rover. <laughs> Let's see. Five. Oh, five, number five. Number five is back to Goofy. And... I think just by the show of it, you could kind of tell what ride this is. And no, it's not the Matterhorn, because they're not doing uh, Disneyland uh, rides, just Walt Disney World. So this is for uh, Expedition Everest. So, uh, see. Oh, Goofy moves. He animates where he moves forward. That would have been kind of cool if they made the Yeti move, but that's still kind of cool, though. And then there's the train. And that will go behind uh, the Jungle Cruise. Now, again, I'm also pulling something out of the bag, but as I said, I will show you what those are after. That was number five, number six. Okay, number six, I think, out of all of them, is my favorite. Uh, not just because of the attraction, but it, I guess it's just how it is represented um, as a toy. And it's very different, it's very unique, because it's not a typical ride vehicle. Um, it's, uh, the Tower of Terror, and there's Mickey, and he has his hands up, and he goes up, and then back down. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool, because normally you would have, like, a ride vehicle, like the, the Time Rover, or, uh, the Expedition Everest train, but this, you actually have the whole entire, uh, attraction building that is represented, and Mickey's at the top holding his hands up, so I think... Out of all of them, this one's my favorite. Let's see. The number... That was number six. Number seven is Minnie Mouse. And she is on one of the classic attractions. Uh, that was made for Disney Parks. And I guess this is pretty much says it all. Yeah, I don't really have to give an introduction to it, but <laughs> but I will anyway. It's Pirates of the Caribbean. And I guess when she moves, oh, she turns. That's kind of cool. It's like she's uh, swinging the sword. That's kind of cool. And number eight. This one I find was kind of comical. And this one is of Donald Duck. And of course, when you think of Donald, you think of, okay, that's it's going to be somewhat funny. So Donald is in the teacup. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, but if you see his face, he has like this dizzy look on his, on his face. And then as it moves, uh, it spins, the teacup spins. So I probably when you have it on a, a much uh, harder, smooth surface and you move it, I think out of all of them, this one would probably animate the most as far as movement goes. But I thought it was kind of funny of how Donald's face is. 
And then number nine is this one would probably be maybe my second favorite. Again, just like the Tower of Terror based on how it's represented. Because this is two attractions in one. This is of Daisy. And she is in uh, Soren. But it's also where it's like going around the world and it's showing uh, Spaceship Earth from Epcot. So I think after Tower of Terror, this one is my second favorite. Again, just of how it's represented. And you basically have two attractions in one. You have Soren and you have Spaceship Earth. So I thought that was kind of cool. And last but not least, number 10, that is the caboose of the whole entire train. It goes back to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and it's both Mickey and Minnie together in the uh, the red car, which is featured in uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So I thought that was kind of cool how the start of the train is the train itself, part of the attraction, and then the car of Mickey and Minnie to bring up the rear for both Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, because essentially, that's what these attractions are promoting uh, with the Toys and McDonald's, is to promote Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So I thought that was kind of cool. So that's all 10 uh, toys that are based off of the attractions at Walt Disney World. And I thought that was really cool, and they're definitely getting a lot of buzz and a lot of uh, attention um, off of the social media of everyone trying to get all of these. And I think that's kind of cool, really, because... Um, Disney and McDonald's didn't really have a, a partnership, uh, for a long time. I, I think the last time I remember Disney actually promoting something big with McDonald's was back in 2006 when they, uh, were, uh, when Disney Pixar's Cars was just being released. That was the last time that I remember. Then they did, like, small stuff here or there, but then it started to kind of, dwindled down and this is I think the first time where now it's like the collaboration is back again and it's definitely giving a lot of positive feedback and I'm I'm glad it is but the thing that I was mentioning that with um the toys with each toy that it comes with you get a it's like a ticket and it's it says hop on board to Walt Disney World Resort now, with these tickets, they're not just, like, to represent a ticket, like, for a theme park, but it's also for a uh, contest for uh, 15 separate vacations for a family of four to Walt Disney World. And there's a code on each ticket um, that can help you try to win. And the more that you buy and the more that you enter that... Um, it ups your chances of actually possibly winning a free vacation for four at Walt Disney World. Um, now, you're only allowed to enter uh, five codes uh, per day, and I think it said it goes to uh, January 31st of 2021. Now, I don't know if, if that's the actual year. I don't know if it's January 31st, 2020, because I thought I heard that these toys only run into December, so I don't know, unless, depending on how many toys you buy, you have that allotted amount of time to submit the code, um, and where you go to submit the code, all the information is on the ticket, it tells you sign up at Mc, on the McD app, or at magic at mcd.com, and then you scan and enter your code, um, it says on 831-2020, but um, again, I think that's a, a typo because the toys just came out now, so I'm not sure how that works, but I submitted several codes myself and it works. I'm entered into the contest. So if you definitely love Disney, if you love to collect, um, Disney and McDonald memorabilia, go to your local McDonald's, pick up some toys and who knows, you may be a lucky winner to win a, a trip to Walt Disney World. But I just wanted to do that unboxing uh, for you. It was my first video of it. I, As I said, they were completely sealed in their original packaging inside the package um, that I received in the mail. Um, and I just now opened it for you. So um, they're actually really cool. And as I said, my two top favorites are the Tower of Terror and the uh, Soren 
uh, and the Spaceship Earth one. So, yeah, so uh, thanks for joining me with this unboxing of the Disney McDonald uh, toys. And uh, thanks for joining me. Please like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell for new content that will be coming out soon. And remember, stay safe, stay healthy, stay Disney. Bye, everybody.